Vienas, du, vienas, du, vienas, du, trys. Vienas, du, trys. Vienas, vienas, vienas. Vienas, du, vienas, du, vienas, du, trys. Vienas, du, trys, vienas. Vienas, du, trys. Vienas, vienas, vienas. Vienas, du, vienas, du, vienas, du, trys. Vienas, du, trys, vienas. Vienas, du, trys. Vienas, vienas, vienas. Vienas, du, vienas, du, vienas, du, trys. Vienas, du, trys, vienas. Vienas, du, trys. Vienas, vienas, vienas. Vienas, du, vienas, du, trys. Vienas, du, trys, vienas. Vienas, du, trys. Vienas, vienas, vienas. Vienas, du, trys. Vienas, du, trys, vienas. Vienas, du, trys. Vienas, vienas, vienas.
Hello, everyone. I would like everyone to gather in our amazing hall. We would like to start in one minute. We have more people there. I saw them. Okay, so once again, hello everyone on this amazing rainy first day of the summer. Jokes are the things that doesn't always work, right? But still, I can assure you that we have two amazing days. We will have two amazing days here in Rice Vilnius, here in Vilnius, here in Lithuania. I would like to clap everyone for you to be here together with us. And once again, welcome to the official hackathon presented by the Bank of Lithuania. We would like to start with some of theory. I'm pretty sure you really know, guys, what are you doing here, but still, I'd like to remind you some things. As it was already announced in March, the Bank of Lithuania is set to make history issuing one-of-a-kind digital collector's coin already this year. The coin will be designed using blockchain or other equivalent technology. We all know that numismatic items issued by the Bank of Lithuania are intended for collection and are not issued with a view to their entry into circulation. Nonetheless, digital collector coins, like the usual ones, may be returned to the Bank of Lithuania at nominal value. The issuance of the digital collector coin is yet another step towards implementing one of the Bank of Lithuania's strategic directions in the field of innovation and fintech. But before I'll go into more details, I hear myself so, so much of me, but before I go into details, I would like to use my chance to welcome on stage Mr. Marius Jurgilas, the member of the board of the Bank of Lithuania for his welcome speech. Their audience, please greet him with the claps. Hello, everyone. Switch the mic. Yes. Right, so my name is Marius. I'm from Bank of Lithuania and I'm very much welcoming you to this hackathon. We are as much excited as you are. I already see uh, very focused faces. And uh, everyone is looking for that uh, prize, right? Maybe, yeah, the coin. And maybe I should give you some background uh, of how did we end up with this idea? Or how did it start? Uh, Yes, welcome everyone, for those who are not from Lithuania, to Lithuania, who is this year celebrating 100 years of re-establishment of, of the country. <laughs> and, to, and to commemorate that moment, we thought that we want to bridge the past with the future. Something that we have been doing as a central bank for many, many years, issuing many, many coins and bridging it to the digital world. And uh, we have the idea, we know what, we know what would we like to have, but we don't know how. Let's be honest, we don't know how. And we want you to tell us. So if you have a good idea and it will meet the requirements, we will implement it. So it will be the first ever uh, digital collector's coin issued by the central bank. 
and uh, you can make history by being here, by participating. And one suggestion if I can make is ask as many questions as you can. We'll have uh, people from supervisory department uh, answering all the supervisory questions if you have any. Uh, we'll have a person uh, answering all the legal questions if you have some. I know there are some legal experts already in the teams. Uh, and uh, if you have questions on cybersecurity or technological implementation, uh, we'll also have some people around. So ask as many questions as you can, participate, be active, and we hope for the best. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. I had a few more lines about the restoration, and etc. And I, I really thought I'm going to fail announcing and pronouncing the words, because for me, they always seem to be too, too difficult. But I'll try again, OK? So thank you, Marius, for an amazing speech. And we move on. So, the Bank of Lithuania is looking into a possibility of issuing a digital collector coin to commemorate the centenary of the restoration of Lithuania's statehood. Oh, I did it, finally. It will be designed using blockchain or other equivalent technology. The aim of the hackathon is to develop a prototype of the coin. Let me present you a few requirements set for this weekend's hackathon. I'll move to my next slide. I'm pretty, sh pretty sure you know all of them, but let me just remind you. The coin must be limited in number. It has to be unique, easily identifiable as the Bank of Lithuania's digital collector coin. It has to be linked to a physical coin. Secondary market and fast transactions must be ensured. Also, it has to be secure. The coin must be counterfeit proof, while the platform for selling the coin has to be ready to handle heavy user traffic and be protected against the cyber attacks. We would also like you to think about the visual representation of the coin. Each digital collector coin must be linked to a physical coin. Please keep in mind that this criteria should also be met and you can present your idea on how this will be achieved. Does it look really difficult? Orca team is saying no, so I think it's okay. The best part, of course, why are we gonna have two amazing sunny days, first days of the summer here in Rise Vilnius, is because we will select top three projects that will receive the cash prizes. Best team, 1,000 euros. Second team, 500 euros. And the third team, 300 euros. Cool, yeah? No? Can we clap? We're not wasting our time. We're doing something really amazing. And uh, now I would like to move further just to tell you a bit on how are we going to spend our days in Vilnius. So as you see, the next thing that is going to happen here, we're going to pitch our ideas. We've written three minutes, but feel free to make it shorter or longer. Since we have a lot of mentors here and other people to help you, we will allow them to ask a few questions just for us to get the idea. Then we will have the questions and answer session. There you can ask whatever you want about the hackathon, how it will be happening, or anything else that you deem to find very important. At 8, we will start our networking session, team building, and if you really like, you can start working. We also written that we work till 1 a.m. here in RISE, but if you find it in need, you can stay here for a longer time. Am I correct? Organizers, say, yeah, yeah, we can, we, we can sleep here. Can you imagine? It's awesome. Now we move on to Saturday. The doors will be open at 8, unless, of course, you stay here indoors. At 9, we will have light breakfast. Mentorship session will start. Also, we can continue work. At 1, we will have lunch. At 2, we will have status check. Uh, me and some from the guys from the organizers, we will just go through every of the team. We will check 
how is it going with you? Are you getting ready to present? We will answer questions how the pitching session will happen in the, in the, in, in the evening. So at 14.10, we continue working. Uh, you have to submit your results till 6 p.m. and not a single minute longer. And we will start the final pitching session at 6.15. Hopefully, at 8 p.m., we will know those top three teams that will be awarded with the cash prizes. Yay or not yay? Yay! <laughs> okay, and now the best part and the most important part is you guys. I would like to announce all the teams that have gathered here tonight or this evening in order to create this digital coin. So, do we have ContraBlock? Yay! One, two, where's the third one? You're alone. He will come. Okay. Then we have Cryptodus. Can we clap for them? Let's clap for them. We have the DL team. Yay! Metasite. Also here. Very good. Orca. <laughs> Spectracoin. I think teams are clapping for themselves. That's awesome. Tieto. We have Team Tieto, yeah, and Kubo, last but not least. Hello, guys. Okay, we move on. It's about to, the time is here to present your ideas. Once again, as I would like to re remind you, what do we expect to see here on stage? Everyone is usually very nervous before they start pitching. It's not a pitching session. Here, we just want to to know your team, we want to briefly know about your idea and what, are, what do you want to create in these two days. Today we also have our jury members and mentors together with us here, as I mentioned before, so one or two questions we'll, we'll definitely ask for each of the teams. So now I would like to invite the first team that was mentioned before. I've lost the teams, oh my god. No, I didn't do it. It's a contra block. Can we have your representative on stage? Guys, do you have a presentation? You don't have it. Okay. Sometimes it's easier because everyone will be looking Questions straight we'll, at you. We'll definitely ask so for a few minutes for teams. you. Um, so sorry, now everyone. I would like to invite so the first we have team. A team of that four was people right now. mentioned before. Um, I lost basically, the teams. Oh my God. our idea no, is I didn't to do it. make a collector it's a coin that would Can work we have on your Ethereum. Representative on stage? Um, there are a couple of principles that we want to implement. Guys, do you so have I guess a the most important one is an auctioning okay. system. So we want to Sometimes allow everyone to everyone essentially be bid for the coin and Definitely to buy it at the best price. So a few and this will also work uh, in so terms of releasing like the coin for the secondary market. So we'll let people who right have purchased a coin uh, auction off their coin to other uh, users later. Um, and we also want to make this mobile first. So we have an iOS developer on the team and we'll try to implement it very, very closely with a mobile interface so that people can direct uh, like essentially uh, uh, purchase the coin using their the um, like so mobile devices. Also um, so um, and I guess that's, that's, that's the most important part. So we'll let people who right now um, have for the team, we, we have two coders. Uh, we have one financial um, we person, and we have one legal person. So we're quite married. We have an iOS developer on the team. Okay, thank you so much. Do we have questions from mentors, jury? I'll come to you. No, we don't. It seems it was super clear, crystal clear. Thank you so much once again. Okay, we move on to our next team. It's the team with an amazing name of Cryptodus. Guys, your presentation will be on the screen in a second. I'll give you two mics, yeah? Or two. Hello? Hi, hello everyone. My name is Ronaldas. My name is Yava. <coughs> and um, basically today, maybe um, um, during this presentation, we will not speak more about the, the whole idea, but briefly we'll mention what is at least important at this stage. But I believe that uh, one of the important things is also to present our team, who we are and actually what we do. So if we could just move on. 
Thank you very much. My name is, uh, as I mentioned, Ronaldas, and we have Lucas over there in the corner filming or, or doing photos. Eva, and uh, the fourth person is not at the moment. Hopefully, he'll join today, later, or even tomorrow. Um, what we've done in our lives, in our professional uh, experience, we've been to many companies, uh, also highly regulated, such as insurance banking, and we've done, uh, you know, we've solved a lot of problems, and we help build uh, global products in those companies. And some of our team members also participated in a few crypto blockchain companies, helping them uh, also tackle some, uh, some, some issues that, uh, that potentially also uh, will be a, the, the path to the future as a trend, how the world will work, you know, in those industries. If you could just move on, thank you. Um, Cryptodus, mainly, our team consists uh, of those individuals that are here and we are from this company. Um, so, Eva, yeah, if you could just continue. Yep, so you all know why we gather here. Our purpose is to build something on blockchain or any other similar technology. So, as you can see from the buzzwords, uh, if you're not a technical person, you probably still heard of those buzzwords. And this is what we eat for breakfast. So, this is... Uh, these are our clients. These are the clients that we worked with to build either smart contracts, audit them, or uh, complement their projects in any other way. If we could just move on. Thank you. Yeah, the last one. Yep, and so uh, all of our team members work combined uh, helped to raise more than 70 million US dollars in ICOs for, for on the market, basically, yeah. For building those great products. <laughs> and the last one? Yeah, and the last one. And so, also speaking of other four million, these four million doesn't mean money. This time we're speaking about 4 million Lithuanians that are living somewhere abroad and here in Lithuania. And our idea with this coin is to make the coin, the virtual coin, available to all of those 4 million Lithuanians within the reach of a hand. So how we're going to implement that, our idea is to build a system with, to give you a little sneak peek, about what it would be like. Uh, we're thinking of uh, integrating some a AI into, into our pl platform. Yeah, so uh, our, our, this is it briefly about us and our product. And if you have any more questions, go I, ahead. I saw one team member uh, laughing when you said AI. Why, 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 why was that? I'm joking, you don't have to answer this question. Do we have any other questions in the hall? Yes, we have, I'm bringing the mic. I would like to ask you, what kind of platform will you use for your coin? might be that after having a Q, QA session, feedback, you know, just talking with all these experts here on the site, we might change the course, who knows? <laughs> but at the moment, we are considering Ethereum. Okay, thank you. So, thank you so much, Team Cryptodos. Clap, 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 clap. I really like the part with $70 million because I thought like, do we have any tax inspectors here? No, no, no one? Uh, we have a member from the board of Lithuanian Bank. Okay, next team, DL team. Guys, are you ready? <laughs> one second, you have a presentation, right? Yeah, yeah, sure. Hi, that's my actually second time in this place. Our team came I really from like the part Ukraine, with 70 million dollars six people because I thought like here. do we have any tax and, uh, inspectors here? And now we will no? present no? a vision. No one? Uh, we have a member from the board okay. of Lithuanian Bank. Our team is quite famous okay, next for team, DL team. Guys, like are you ready? The most anti-ICO like movement, like we drive it. Anti-ICO. Yes, we can oh. like we are in blockchain space for a long, long time. Um, 
I there are a few things you hate about it, yeah? Can, can you share your thoughts on like that? Like, I can prove that utility token is a Ponzi scheme. With proof. Uh, <laughs> I don't look, we will talk about it later. Many people don't like that, but anyway. <laughs> um, okay, so your presentation is here, and the problem with the clicker, I'll be the clicker. You okay. just tell me when to click, okay? So here is the team. Uh, we are on the market since 2014. Uh, I used to work in Stellar back in the day, and my background is cryptography. So today we have uh, two backend developers, uh, one front-end, one mobile. And our focus, besides all these features that are listed in the task, will be how to find the right balance between the independence of infrastructure, because we believe you cannot really issue a um, regulated coin on, on top of like public network, the second thing will be provable correctness of this independent infrastructure. So others, like citizens, will be able to see that uh, everything is right. So all transactions are auditable. And last thing is interoperability with public networks, especially for the purpose of secondary market. So our approach will be that we will put security and compliance in the first place. Then we will make a special like private blockchain for the bank with the ability to make a public audit. And uh, this network will be able to look in, into public networks and it will be API driven so you can build third party apps, uh, we'll open source like, clients and it will be cool. So this is like the architectures that we envision. So you have the network of central bank, you have public auditors who have access, like read only access um, to the network, you have users, admins, and gateway to the external uh, networks where these coins can be traded. And last thing, that what we expect to build, again, it's like a private transaction validation environment with public audit, and uh, when cost, like, clients, like your uh, mobile, can be extended by third party teams, and they can work with uh, external networks. So that's our vision. We are going to implement it during this day. Thank you. Thank you so much. Okay, Is it me or scratch. you really have a serious approach here? Do we have questions? <laughs> and and, and uh, there, there's also a second give money team, yeah, that will win. But third party teams and they can work oh, with your uh, presentation networks. was really amazing so and that's our it vision. looks that you're going, going to, to use like a couple different day. blockchains in your Thank implementation. You. Thank you so much. Uh, historically, we've been building our systems uh, using Stellar codebase, Ripple Stellar, Is because it we believe really it's the most efficient for the purpose of here. accounting Do we have questions? in general. But for the uh, like gateways to and public and networks, and again, and smart contracts that can do a yeah, two-way back to and lock coin in one yeah, network and issue in another. Really amazing. So and that's our vision. That we so it could be public. Like yeah. It's really promising. Good luck. <laughs> Thank you so much. Uh, Thank you so much. We've been building our systems uh, using Stellar. Okay, device. we move on to our next team and it's Metasite. For the purpose of accounting in general. But for the, like, Gateways to and public and networks. You're not sure who's going to pitch, yeah? I'm joking. Here's the mic. Hey, hey everyone. Yeah. Well, yeah. thanks yeah. the Bank yeah. Lithuania yeah. of Lithuania for yeah. this really cool event uh -huh. here. Um, Thank you so much. Thank you so much. A lot, and thanks, Rice, for letting okay. us in here we to crash your place. We have a clicker. Here you go. Oh, lovely. Thanks. Yeah. Is it on? Uh, the presentation should be on. It's Ooh, coming, yeah. Yeah. Well, uh, so, yeah. First of all, the goal was to, our goal is to sort of unite those two different worlds of numismats and digital collectors. Um, similar in a way, yet quite different. And, um, yeah, we think we got a recipe for that. So, what's cooking? <laughs> With, for the last few days, we were thinking, what... What would happen if we add blockchain, glo global communities, something unexpected, <coughs> something that motivates, stir it well, and cook on a medium heat? Um, and I think there is some potential in that. Um, well, in a nutshell, uh, we will, um, we will, um, yeah, we will. 
put, uh, we'll, of course, we will emphasize on the, uh, on the visual representation of the coin, uh, touch upon global Lithuanian communities, um, add a catchy twist um, to spark the interest of the digital collectors, and load it all on the Ethereum blockchain and see what happens. Basically, that's it. Um, of course, what's, uh, what's the um, end result will be, we will talk about that tomorrow, I guess, after some productive time with the guys and, and polishing the edges uh, with the help of the mentors. And we'll see tomorrow. So thanks. Thank you so much. See you at the side. Any Do questions? we have a question? What right. about the team? Yeah, who yeah. do you have in the team? Uh, we've got a blockchain developer. Um, well, two of them. And we have a designer, which she's on remote, working remotely. She's not here presently. But, um, and yeah, and myself just uh, talking here and bringing coffees for the guys so they don't fall asleep. <laughs> it's called BDO, business development, you know? <laughs> Precisely, yes. Um, right, and is there anybody here who came here just uh, to join any teams or anybody? Wh no. Which part from the prize are you offering for a person? <laughs> Half, to, 30%? To be discussed. No, we will. Didn't the, see any hands, the teams but anyway. can negotiate that, yeah? Yeah, <laughs> but thanks and see you guys around. Thank you so much, team at the side. Okay, we move on, and now is the time for Team um, Orca right. to and present is there something on here the stage. Yay! Just, uh, to join any Yay! <laughs> anybody? Uh, which part from yeah. the prize are you offering for a person? Have any more mics? Half to, to be discussed. So they're not. No, we so uh, the uh, we are Orca. That, yeah? Yeah. Uh, we <laughs> won't thanks, uh, use a few. Thank you so much, Team on the side. And. Uh, we have a team of two full-stack developers, okay, we move on. blockchain and expert, tokenomic uh, believer, and we will Yay. make something... Uh, Yay. Oh. Can you put our presentation on the screen, please? Wh which part from yeah. the prize are you offering? For yeah, we, we didn't do it. So, <laughs> <laughs> guys, you can tell something. Uh, by the way, it's not a pitch. We will pitch tomorrow. Uh, today is just an introduction. And, uh, we have a team of so two our full plan stack developers, is first of all, blockchain yeah. expert, uh, the coin tokenomic is, uh, believer, first of all, most and secure, we will yeah. make uh, easily accessible, yeah. and uh, well, basically has all the screen, required yeah. definitions yeah. of the Lithuanian yeah. bank, yeah. and yeah. also we plan so to make <laughs> a <laughs> website so which is allowing an easy way for people uh, way, to purchase uh, those coins. So we don't have to read the book to buy a coin. Do we have a question from the audience? Yes, definitely, yeah. Hi. Uh, you mentioned that you will be using like Ethereum, yeah? We won't no. be using Ethereum. Ah, you won't be using yeah. So you will be using something more secure than Ethereum? Of course. Great. It's enough. So we don't have to read the book. It was easy, Lucas. Uh, we never said that it would be Bitcoin. Do we have a question? Uh, from the actually, audience? we will uh, introduce yes, all the research yeah. and data tomorrow. We don't want to like uh, say uh, you all mentioned the that secrets you will be using in like one day. Ethereum. Yeah, we won't no. be using. Ah, you won't be using. Yeah. So Thank you so much. He spoiled our coin, right? No, it's okay. It's okay. I, I haven't seen you for a while, guys, but I know that you always have a surprise to present uh, on the pitching day. As far as I remember. We okay, that. we move on to our next team, and it's uh, SpectraCoin. Can we have you guys on stage? Here's your mic, and your presentation will be here in a sec. He's Thank you so much. Yes. He spoiled our coin. Huh? No, it's okay. It's okay. I, I haven't seen you. Wow, it looks very good. Can you show it on screen? Yeah? No? Ta-da! You see? Full screen mode. Yes. One, two, three, start. Okay. Uh, so, good evening, everyone. Uh, I will make this as little painful as possible. We have five easy steps. 
in this presentation. And first off, this is us. We are Team SpectroCoin. We've been in this business for more than five years now. So it, we are no strangers to this. We serve almost one million clients every day. So it goes without saying we know what we're doing here. But before pitching our idea, we feel that it is very important to stress one thing out here. Decentralized digital coin, digital collector's coin, it's the whole name of this hackathon, is a completely different beast when compared to an electronic thing. And just by comparison, we, we, we like to compare it to music. If you, if you use a synthesizer and it's an electronic device to produce music, it's not a digital music. You just use electronics to kind of create sounds. When you do want to have digital music, you kind of have to have an MP3 file or something. And you can use that binary code to transfer it, to split it up, and so on. So our emphasis this here today is going to be, and tomorrow, of course, that we want to make this a true digital collector's coin. And of course, having said that, all arrows point to Ethereum protocol. So without any deeper discussion here, we want to say that there are at least two standards that compete with each other here. And since the coins have to be unique as per requirements of Bank of Lithuania, we truly believe that it has to be the ERC721 protocol, which allows for each token to be unique that is non-fungible. <laughs> and with that comes a lot of benefits and a lot of features that we are going to implement. We are going to pitch on them tomorrow. We are not going to reveal our own cards here today. But just to name uh, one interesting example, there's one called CryptoKitties. Everyone likes kitties and everyone likes cryptocurrency, even Bank of Lithuania, we know that. So CryptoKitties go for as much as 100,000 US dollars, uh, the cutest ones. So we believe we can make the digital collector coin even more expensive than that. So yeah, our concept is to use the ERC721 protocol to produce uh, non-fungible non digital collector coins. This will allow us to limit their uh, issue, so we will have finite number of coins. For that purpose, we have already acquired digitalcollector.com digitalcollector domain name, and of course it goes without saying that our uh, end product is going to in include this. Uh, and this will also allow us to deploy a lot of pot gamification options on the de decentralized app, which will create incentives for collectors to get engaged with this digital collector coin. And we believe that since this is the first digital collector coin in the history, it has to have these incentives, so sort of to attract audience to this game. And we propose to use uh, the infrastructure shirt that Bank of Lithuania already has for issuing these coins, for selling them. Of course, the infrastructure would have to be upgraded, but we are here to help, of course. So yeah, uh, for the secondary market, uh, since we use a fairly well-known protocol, it's no, a no-brainer here. It's going to be easily, the, the coin is going to be easily traded in the secondary market. That's it. Do we have questions? The third line that was making a lot of pictures. You, you said you're not disclosing everything, but you had like eight slides, you know? That's only a tip of an iceberg. Guys, thank you. I will ask one very serious question. Like a few hours ago, I transferred some money, fat money from my bank account into your Spectra account, uh, to my Spectra account, account, but they didn't arrive. Can you comment on this? <laughs> can I, can I, I answer to this question? Respect the science. 
it takes a time. Uh, <laughs> I'm joking. Yeah, and I will ask well, one very serious question. We are like very careful ago, when we deal with our customers, and from Mumbai, I hate to tell you this, but you potentially triggered our AML rules. So, we have one more question. Can I, can I Hi guys, I that was really insightful. Um, could you let us know whether there is someone uh, in the uh, team, uh, because uh, I know that you're affiliated with the Benkera project somehow. Is there anyone, just curious, just maybe to have a small talk? What's a Benkera? Uh, and, uh, <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> so, all of us at your disposal. All of us at your disposal. Can I, can I it's hi called headhunting. That was really insightful. I have heard um, some, somewhere about it. So, thank you so much for your presentation. Yep. And yep. Project somehow. We move to our next team, and it's Tieto. Guys, come down. Uh, and, uh, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> these guys like to watch everyone from the top, from the very high. All of us you have a presentation? Oh, you're as awesome as you stand, yeah? Okay, one and two. So, thank you so much for your presentation. Why yep. uh, digital coin is needed? We move to our next team, and it's... So we started to think about guys, the people who down. need digital coin, and uh, that is, of course, these guys the like collectors. To watch collectors from the top, from the very and we share our sympathy with them when they need to stand uh, in awesome queues when they stand, yeah. when exactly. they want okay. to buy one a new coin when uh, so, central bank thank you so much for your presentation or when they when they are taking yeah. risk when buying uh, coins uh, from coin from we eBay we to uh, kind of taking risk of, of buying fake ones so actually down. we started to think that uh, uh, this digital coin coins. actually is needed uh, uh, to help and those and people to trade the coins and uh, we are thinking our idea is uh, is of digital is of uh, marketplace where digital coins can be sold can be purchased by collectors and of course then to the um, exchanged into metal uh, from coins, from eBay, which is uh, uh, real value, so to say. So, so we want to design that marketplace to, to, um, to think of how, how it might look like. And uh, we are thinking even of, of the marketplace that can be that uh, that can be used not only by central bank but but also by collectors themselves to digitize, so to say, their coins uh, that they have in their collections, so they can present their collections, they can offer them to, to their colleagues, and, uh, and uh, we can even so we extend that idea even that further, thinking of, of the network of central banks of Europe, for example, issuing those digital coins and, uh, we are thinking uh, and, and showing them through the same marketplace or same marketplace network in, um, uh, to all the collectors. So that's, that's basically the idea. And we are a team from Tieto, there are two, only two of us, so the weather might be an issue for us as well, and especially for collectors standing in, in in the in outside, when it's raining, good weather also does uh, troubles uh, for us as well, even when it's good. So we will try to prepare a prototype that will remove that weather obstacles in a digital world. Thank you. Thank you so much. I can help you. It's going to rain tomorrow, according to the forecast, so it's going to be an amazing day. Do we have questions? In outside, when third it's row, rainy. you don't have questions, really? The, oh, the second row has. Okay. For us as well, even when it's good. Can so we'll you say which platform do you plan to use? That uh, yeah, I think uh, we are thinking of Oracle and .NET. Thank, Thank you so much. <laughs> I can help you. Thank you, guys. Thank you for your presentation. Okay, and we are moving to our. Last but not least, Third team row, with the name Kubo. Really? Oh, the second row has. Okay. Yay! Hey everyone, uh, we are coming from Cyprus, uh, quite a few thousand miles away, uh, in a three hour flight. So, yeah. And we have pretty much, pretty much the same weather as you right now, but we are enjoying the beach. Thank you guys, thank you for your presentation. <laughs>
<laughs> so, okay, well, we, we thought last, about it, and we actually couldn't use me. Ethereum and ERC721 to go initiate non-fungible tokens for the uh, Lithuanian Bank. Hey, everyone. And uh, also, we've been, uh, in this couple of days, we've been called with a few payment gateways, and we know which ones they do not accept fiat current to transfer fiat currencies. So we're going to introduce tomorrow the one that they accepted. So you might be finding it also very insightful. Also, the other thing, we haven't heard anyone that you are going to be a fully compliant with the GDPR right now. So we're going to be fully compliant with GDPR. And uh, as a collector, banks need to know which holds the coin. So um, you, uh, I would suggest to consider thinking that. Um, so yeah, any questions? Feel free. Do we have questions? Third row. Uh, yeah, it was pretty clear. Thank you so you much. Thank you so much. So basically, that's it if we talk and, uh, about the pictures. But I'd like to, to tell you a bit so more of information. Um, you, uh, I would suggest to consider During these two that. days, you will always see so, yeah. so uh, similar looking so guys as I am with the white shirt. Uh, We're here to help so you. So you can always address uh, us with any question you may have. Here. Thank you, so much. you can use you so any much. table that has a Lithuanian bank's hackathon so name here. I saw so it there. Maybe it. Mr. Marius so can raise it up. This means that we can use the space. Feel free to use the snacks, the drinks, etc. The doors are magnetic ones and they lock down when the coffee shop is closed. You can get out by holding your hand at the exit button, but you cannot enter if you go away and you close the door. But please. Please don't keep them open, and I think we will manage to let you in just to come back working, right? And just for the for the end, I would also like you to get to know a few people that are more important in this hackathon than me, for example. So, the prototypes created during the hackathon and their descriptions will be assessed and evaluated by few people. Can I ask to stand Remigius Paulavicius <laughs> and Ernestas Filatovas? These, these two guys are the members of blockchain group of the Institute of Data Science and Digital Technologies of Vilnius University. Also, one more amazing person is Julius Jankauskas. <laughs> He's a numismatic co and collector, and also we will have some more representatives from Lithuanian Bank that I will disclose you tomorrow in order for you guys not to work on before to get better evaluation, you know? There will be some secret members in the jury. So, now is the part where you can ask questions. Exactly. You can shout or I can give you a mic if you want. But it has to be a long question if I give you a... Okay, okay, I'm ready. Not for you. <laughs> uh, so, I have a question for Bank of Lithuania. So, you are sometimes against ICOs, you punish some security ICOs, like Bankera, who made some advertisers. So, my question is, what is the difference uh, of this token issuance, collector coin issuance, between a simple ICO and what the token type is, as it seems that it will be like a security, because you will buy it and expect to get a gain in value. So, just a question from my interest. I assume you're going to be answering, right? It's a, it's a very simple question. Uh, it depends how you make it. And there will be differences or there will be no differences and the view will be the same or different. <laughs> da -da -da -dum, da -dum. That was an answer. Uh, it, but which di what difference, what kind of differences? So it seems that you know Bank of Lithuania's view on virtual currencies and ICOs. Uh, there is a position. For those who don't know, we can share it with you. You know, Bank of Lithuania has an explicit position. The author of the position is this guy right there. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, you can consult if there are some discrepancies and you don't understand. And, uh, you know, that's the position of Bank of Lithuania. Thank you.
You, you can also send a written question. Bank of Lithuania likes to answer in a written way, you know? Thank you. <laughs> yes, one more question from Team Orca, yeah? Yeah, Team Orca, me, yes. Uh, I would like to know how many coins you would like to issue when it will be like, uh, because it's not only the crypto coins, right? It's uh, also the real coins. So how, um, what do you think, what is the right amount for this collection? Who will answer that? Remigius, yeah. Mr. Mark? Yeah. Uh, so we are planning to issue limited numbers. It's about like two, three thousand, something like that. We're thinking about that number. No, four hundred. Or, or hundred we thousand. We just started selling cover coins, you know, three thousand. It's quite almost sold out. So. Um, it should be collector coin, right? Well, okay, but let's be serious here. It has to be limited issuance. Um, it has to have a meaning, that number. Uh, we are coming from a kind of issuance point of view that you know, the usual circulation has been around the number that you just told us. But um, that's the physical part. But the digital part could be anything. Right? Who said that the divider is 100? Yeah. But as far as I remember, when it was the pitch from the bank a uh, couple of weeks ago, uh, you said that uh, each coin must be linked to the real coin, and the, the, uh, sh there should be a possibility to receive that real coin. Yeah. And logically, if you receive the real coin, you won't be able to transfer your crypto coin, right? Understood. Because it won't be. Just to, to, cl to clarify, uh, it doesn't have to be, in my perspective, one-to-one -one mapping. It could be one to many. So uh, can you explain that? that? Yeah. Uh, from, I'm not a technical person, so you're asking technical questions. Uh, Michne, Michne, help me here. If you want to get $100 back, yeah. you can either take the $100 bill back to the bank or two broken pieces that belong to the same $100. So we, that means that coins should be uh, fungible. Because if they are non-fungible, it won't work like that, right? The only trick is, though, you have to think that if somebody sells one coin under two different digital tokens that are linked to that coin, to take that back, that person has to buy back those digital tokens. So the question is, do you want to have the same two digital tokens that were used to create the original, or you can put together... 10 different pieces that add up to one. That's the question about collectible. Uh, because if we, you are issuing the collectible coins, which are unique, like every coin have this uh, ID and stuff and stuff, and you are issuing uh, digital coins, which represent that real coins, you probably can't split that token. Because if you can do that, you will have a paradox. So I think it's... it's I mean, the first, so. the first coin was definitely probably going to be more valuable than the 100th coin. That's usually what the collectors look at. And that if, for example, you want to sell that, you might sell 1% of it as a token of the first digital coin. It has to have a signature that's unique then. So you say, you're saying that uh, you might have one token which will be represented by several real coins. Yeah, yeah, or vice versa. Over, yeah. Okay, thank you. Okay, do we have more questions? Yes. Uh, um, are you going to release one type of collectible coin, or are you going to release like a couple of types of collectible coin that uh, at the beginning they have different values? So it's just a gold coin or is it a bronze, silver, and platinum? At this point, we have no prejudice. Either it's platinum or iridium or anything. We know Bank of Lithuania is operating a mint and we are capable of doing any metals. <laughs> it's okay? Yeah, but you can, you can suggest something. We are open to new ideas for uh, physical coins as well, so. 
Let's yeah. do it in paper. And if, if you have questions on the physical part, the person to talk to is right here. So, anything else to clear out? Yeah? Uh, if I ever remember correctly, there was something about uh, uh, it has to have an ability to, for the sale to be limited in time. So could you comment more about what that means exactly? Yes. I can repeat. Time, so I can repeat. It's, it should be limited in number, unique, easy identifiable by the Bank of Lithuania's digital collector as a coin, linked to a physical coin, secondary market and fast transaction must be ensured. It should be secure, counterfeit proof, and uh, the visual. That's it. Oh, the website. Yeah, for a selling platform. So I can give you an example. Like um, yesterday, we started to selling uh, a coin dedicated to uh, Yoninis. So uh, we knew that we started at 8 o'clock in the morning, and we set it the time before. So we want to, to have the same uh, possibility to, uh, for digital coin as well. So we can announce in advance uh, the selling uh, time. So you simply want to have an ability to start the sale and finish the sale at an exact time? Yeah. Okay, thank you. Anything else, guys? And if we're done with the questions, so I would like to invite everyone to go back to the amazing table, to talk, to get to know each other, to start networking, and maybe sell one or another member to our team, just, just for it to be stronger. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. The introduction part has ended.